Hello everyone, welcome to Sociology Simplified. Today we are covering up this topic of classification by B.S. Guha of Indian races. Okay. So these are the six classification given by B.S. Guha. First is Negrito, second is Proto-Asteroid, third is Mongoloid, fourth is Mediterranean, fifth is Western, Brasifals, and sixth is Nordic. Okay. So let's move ahead. So first is Negrito. Uh, they are considered as the first comers or two uh, autochthons. What is autochthons? These are the original or indigenous inhabitant of a place. So they are considered as the indigenous people of the uh, India. The physical characteristics are head is small, it is round, medium and long. Nose is straight, flat and broad. Stature is very short in stature. Skin color is dark to dark brown, dark brown to dark. Hair is woolly. Forehead is bulbous, uh, supraorbital ridge. Now, what is supraorbital? These are some of the terminologies. So I have simplified them by giving them their own uh, right meaning. Supraorbital meaning uh, the area which is occurring above the orbit of the eyes. So here in the this uh, picture, you can see what is supraorbital ridge. So these are smooth. These types are represented by Kadars, Pulayans, uh, Irulars, and primitive tri tribes of the Vainart. We'll see some of the pictures. So this is Kadar tribes women. This is Pulayans and uh, Irulas. Now coming to second class, uh, second uh, point uh, classification that he gave was proto asteroid. Now these are characterized by uh, dolicocephaly head. Okay, what is uh, dolicocephaly head? The term is described uh, a head which is longer than the average relative to its width. So you see here. It is much longer, right, as compared to the normal of uh, any head shape. So this is uh, tolicocephaly. So people with these uh, of these races are characterized by these feelings. Now uh, it is also a plethorine. Okay, so markedly, what is a uh, a plethorine, uh, it is highly, widely separated nostril opening to the side of. So, in these, there are different types of nostril and this is the one we are talking about. Plethorine, okay, side of the face, which is depressed at the root. So, root pe it is depressed uh, and uh, you see it is much wider. Uh, stature is very short of these people, dark brown to skin color in ka hota hai. Wavy and curly hairs. So, baby and curly hairs, their limbs, now limbs is legs or the arms of the person are delicate. Okay. Forehead is less developed and slightly retreating. Supraorbital ridge are often prominent. So, again, we know what is supraorbital ridge. I told you in the last slide. So, they are closely akin to Australian tribe and that is why they are called as proto asteroid They markedly differs from Negrito. Okay. We will see some of the example. Pulayan women of Travancore, Urali of Travancore and Bega of Reva. Reva is in Madhya Pradesh. So you see these uh, women of Urali. These are the Bega tribes women. Now coming to the third classification which is Mongoloid. Now Mongoloids are distinguished by scanty growth. What is scanty growth? A scanty donates smallness or insufficiency. So they are not uh, properly uh, you know, uh, their growth is not very proper or very insufficient uh, of hair on body and face. So, growth of the hair and body and on face and body. Uh, obliquely means not immediately clear. Obliquely is used to set eye showing epicanthic uh, fold. Now, what is epicanthic fold? You see this area. This is epicanthic fold. Okay. So, not very clear set of eyes showing epicanthic fold. This is basically what this statement is about. Flat face with prominent cheekbones. You see these cheekbones here and here. And a very flat face. Okay. It's not, uh, it's not coming out. So, straight hair. Uh, most of these people have straight hair. Mongoloid peoples entered India probably the northeast route. And that's why we see a lot of uh, Mongoloid races uh, in the north, northern eastern part of the country. 
Now mongoloid comprises two types, paleomongoloid and tibetomongoloid. Again, coming from the region where they are located into. Paleomongoloid uh, are also next, uh, you know, further divided into long-headed type and broad-headed type. Long-headed type uh, possess these characteristics. They have long head, medium nose, medium stretcher, their cheekbones are prominent, skin color is dark to light brown, face is short and flat, supraorbital regions are flankly developed. And these live in sub-Himalayan regions. So tribes in Assam and Burma, Sima Nagas of Assam and Limbus of Nepal are said to be the representative of these tribes. These are the Sima, Sima, Sima Nagas and this is Limbus of Nepal. You see? Now coming to the second classification which is broad-headed. Now broad-headed is represented by Lepchas of Kimpong, uh, uh, Kalimpong. This type is found in hill tribes of Chitgong uh, and Chakmas and the Magas. So I'll show you some of the picture in the next slide. Their characteristics are broad head, round face, dark skin color, medium nose, and uh, this again, the eyes they have epicanthic fold. So again, that fold which I showed you in the first slide. And this is Lepchas of Kimbong. This is again the second classification, broad headed one. Chakmas and the Mags, uh, you can go back to the video. Now, Tibbuto Mongoloid, right? Characteristics of Tibbuto Mongoloid are head is broad and massive, face is long and flat, stature is tall, nose is long and medium, eyes are oblique, having marked epicanthic fold. So, this is, this is very common. This feature is very common to Mongoloid. Body hair, facial hair are markedly absent. So they don't have much of the hair that usually people have. Skin color is light brown. And these are found in Tibbets of Bhutan, uh, Tibetans of Bhutan and Sikkim. Tibetans of Bhutan and Sikkim have these characteristics. Okay. Now coming to Mediterraneans. Now Mediterraneans have distinguished characteristics. What are these? Long and narrow head, Volpo's uh, forehead, projecting occupant. Uh, what is it? Basically, back part of the head or the skull and high vault. Small and broad nose, medium stretcher, face is narrow, chin is pointed. So, chin is pointed is a very prominent feature in them. Body is slightly built and their skin color is dark and hair, face and body is scanty. Hair on the face and the body is very scanty. Now, at present, the Vedian speaking people in South India show this type. Tamil Brahmins of Madurai, Nayas of Cochin and Telugu Brahmins are the best example. I'll show you uh, some of their uh, pictures. Oh, it is after these all slides. So I have uh, also mentioned about the classification of the Mediterranean. Classification of Mediterranean happens in the tree path. First is Paleo Mediterranean. Now these people have uh, characterized by long head. Now again, same projected occupant of the high world. Now show medium stretcher, small broad nose. Narrow face and pointed chin. Hair on the face are scanty. Skin color dark. People introduce megalithic culture to India. Now these are old civilization uh, related facts. The Avian and Skipping uh, speak people of South India have uh, this type of uh, features. Tamil Brahmins of Madurai and Ayas of Cochin, Telugu Brahmins are the best example. Second classification is Mediterranean itself. What is it? The features include long head, arch forehead. head. Narrow nose, medium to tall stretcher and light skin color. The chin is well developed. Again, chin is a very important feature. Hair color is dark. Eye color is brownish to dark. Hair on the face and body is plentiful. Where it was scanty and here it is plentiful. Uh, these people live in the regions like Uttar Pradesh, Bombay, Bengal and Malabar. And Namudri Brahmins of coaching. Brahmins of... I also put up a lot of pictures but after these slides I will show you the pictures. Allahabad, Bengali Brahmins, right? Now coming to the third, Oriental type. This is also the classification in the Mediterranean. People resemble to Mediterranean is almost all features except the nose, okay? Which is long and convex in this case. So Oriental people have long and con convex in this case. And body is uh, abundant and skin color is lingered. Uh, so light color. So Banyas of Gujarat, Kati of Kathiawad and Kayast of Bengal. So I'll show you the pictures now this is tamil brahman's picture okay 
Now this is Nair's of Cochin. These pictures. You see chin is very pointed. You see chin. Right? Now this is also again chin. Look at their chin. Very pointed. This is Namudri Brahman's picture. And these are the Khatris. They come and the Pathans are also. Now coming to Western uh, Breast Falls. Now Western Breast Falls are also further divided into three parts. Dinaric, Alpinoid and Arminoid. Right? Let's see. Uh, so Alpinoid, what is Alpinoid? Uh, who are the Alpinoids? Characterized by broad head, rounded occupant, prominent nose and medium. So this is nose features. Uh, medium stature, sorry. This is, uh, you know, in continuation. Round face. Uh, skin color is light. Hair on the uh, body and found in abundant. Uh, body is thick, thickly set. Now this type is found in Baniya of Gujarat. Who was Baniya of Gujarat? Kathia of Kathiawad and Kaista of Bengal. Second is Kathia of Kathiawad. See, these are the people. Kathia of Kathiawad. Now Dinarix. These are the second types. Again, nose is very long, often convex. Uh, stature is tall, face is long, forehead is receding, skin color is darker, eye and hair are also dark. This type is represented by Bengal, Orissa and Kurg. Right? So, Brahmins of Bengal, all these people fall into this one. Alminoids. In most of the gang, Alminoids shows resemblance with the Dinarics. Okay? Parsis of Bombay shows typical Alminoids character. So, I'll give you one of the example is Tata. Ratan Tata is a Parsi. Uh, so, this is Parsis. They have like that feature. And sixth and the last classification is Nordic. Now, their head is long and uh, uh, their arched forehead, the very tall stretcher, strong jaw and powerfully built body, nose is fine and narrow and straight, eyes often have bluish tint. Okay. Now, these features are found in the northern India, especially in Punjab and Rajputs. And Kho of Sitradal, I have added a picture and uh, all these uh, red khari, all these people have uh, these features. So this is the Kho of uh, Sitral and these are some of the, you can see such pe such characteristics in the Rajputs and in people in the Punjab as well. Okay, I hope you like the video. I hope it is helpful. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel.